Next question. Obtain the equivalent capacitance of the network in figure 2.35. This is that figure. For a 300 volt supply, determine the charge and voltage across each capacitor. You are given a network of capacitors, 1, 2, 3, 4 capacitors. Capacitance values are given, 100 picofarad, 200 picofarad, 200, 200 and 100. And uh, this capacitor is labeled C1, C2, C3, C4. And uh, the supply voltage is 300 volt. This end is positive, this end is negative. That's what is given. What we are supposed to find? We are supposed to find equivalent capacitance of the complete network and then charge and PD of each, Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. Because he has given this is C1, charge in this is Q1, we PD across this is V1. Similarly, for this charge is Q2, PD is V2. Some, we will proceed in that way. Okay, Q1 means charge in capacitor C1. V1 means PD across the plates of the capacitor C1. Like that, we will have to consider. Now, how to proceed? See, in problems like this, you just scan the circuit. See, wherever it is obviously parallel or series, you start from that place. Because if you just look at it, you won't know what is it all about. So you just analyze the circuit and see which part or which parts the combinations are in series or the combinations are in parallel. Now you can see here, obviously, these two are in series. So you catch hold of this particular branch and start developing simplified circuits. Ta start writing simplified circuits. You start this one. You consider this one. Why consider this? Because you obviously series. So you start from that branch and draw simpler circuits. Then automatically the circuits will be very much simplified. You can easily do the problem. Now I am going to proceed in the same way. This two series. So I am drawing the simplified circuit diagram in which these two capacitors are replaced by one single capacitor. See here. This is C4. Correct? That is simpler than this because these two capacitors are replaced by one capacitor. You call it as C23. But this is 100 pico. This C4 is again 100 pico. But what is C23? These two are in series. In series combination, 1 by C is equal to 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2. Again, the general mistake students will consider for series combination, the effective capacitance C is equal to C1 plus C2. That is wrong. That is applicable only in the case of resistors. Two resistors are connected in series. R is equal to R1 plus R2. But in capacitors, it will come other way around. So series combination of capacitors, the effective capacitance 1 by C is equal to 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2. So here, how will you find the effective capacitance? 1 by effective of these two, that is 1 by C23 is equal to 1 by C2 plus 1 by C3, which is 1 by 200 plus 1 by 200, 2 by 200, which is 1 by 100, all in terms of picofarad, all capacitances. So, C23, I write somewhere here, therefore C23 is 100 picofarad, 100 picofarad. Farad is the SI unit of capacitance. Pico means 10 to the power of minus 12. Therefore, this is 100. Pico Farad. Not yet over, you'll have to proceed. After this, these two in parallel. Parallel combination easy. Simply add, that's all. C equal to C1 plus C2. The series combination only 1 by 1 by 1 by. But this is simply add. So, these two will have effective capacitance. So, I just draw a single diagram. 
which is C123, this will be 200 pico farad. Agreed? Then what you have? These two are replaced by this. This part of the circuit is there. So you draw C4. Of course, this is 300 pico farad. I'm sorry, 300 volt. Very simple. Look at this and this. Again, you can simplify this further because see these two are in series. What is C4? C4 is 100 picofarad. You can consider these two to be in series. So you again find effective capacitance. What formula? 1 by C is equal to 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2. So I think uh, I'll write here 1 by C. Now it's all the four capacitors effective capacitance. 1 by C1234 is equal to 1 by 200 plus 1 by 100. It is understood I write the capacitance in picofarad. I am not going to write it there. So this is 100. I need some space there. So this is 100 picofarad. Now this is 200, 1 plus 2, 3 by 200. Therefore, C1234 is 200 by 3 picofarad. 200 by 3 picofarad. So, the next level diagram uh, I draw here. Only one capacitor. Or I can draw. This is one capacitor. 300 volt. Uh, the value of this is 200 by 3 picofarad, this capacitance. So, this is simplified first stage simplification, second stage simplification, third stage simplification. See, the, for the beginners, it's better you just to do all these simplifications, draw separate separate circuit diagrams and proceed. But once you become expert in that, no, definitely you will become. Then you can, certain things you can do in your mind, mentally you can do certain things. But now the beginners don't take risk. Okay? What is the caution? Series formula, parallel formula, you will have to do, you will have to apply properly. So one answer we got, effective capacitance, C equivalent, 200 by 3. Pico farad. Answer for this 200 by 3 pico farad. We finished one part. Okay. Now we should find out charge in each and PD in each. So you proceed from the last circuit backward. See, you start from here. Okay. You know capacitance is 200 by 3 pico. You know battery voltage 300. You find out charge drawn from the battery. Charge drawn from the battery. For that, use the formula Q is equal to CV. So charge drawn from the battery, C effective into V. What is C effective? 200 by 3 pico. 10 power minus 12. V, 300. This will be in pico coulomb. This will be 100. So 2 into 10 to the power of 4. Here two zeros, there two zeros. Into 10 to the power of minus 12 coulomb. Why all of a sudden 10 power minus 12 came here? Here it is pico coulomb. Now I removed pico coulomb. I wrote 10 power minus 12. This is 2 into 10 to the power of minus 8 coulomb. That is the charge drawn from the battery. Then go to the next circuit, the backward way. 
here 2 into 10 power minus 8 coulomb is drawn so these two in series so here and here charge should be same each equal to 2 into 10 power minus 8 out of that c4 is the single capacitor here so charge in this 2 into 10 to the power of minus 8 coulomb so immediately you can write q4 is 2 into 10 to the power of minus 8 coulomb because it is a single capacitor because these two are in series but here also it is 2 into 10 power minus 8 but this is not a single capacitor but it is a combination effective capacitor uh, capacitance of c1 c2 and c3 in whichever way they are combined so 200 pico c123 c123 is these two so 2 into 10 power minus 8 is coming then this is 100 this is 100 so charge will divide equally because capacitances are equal so here 10 power minus 8 coulomb here 10 power minus 8 coulomb so you see this is c23 but this is c1 in c1 10 power minus 8 coulomb in c1 so here 10 power minus 8 coulomb now also c23 it is 10 power minus 8 what is c23 come to this these two are in series so 10 power minus 8 coulomb 10 to the power of minus 8 coulomb okay so c2 also 10 power minus 8 coulomb that is in c2 charge is 10 power minus 8 coulomb charge in the capacitor c3 again 10 power minus 8 that's only q3 so you got 10 power minus 8 10 power minus 8 10 power minus 8 2 into 10 power minus 8 charges we found now that you know charges in each capacitor also you know the values of the capacitances of each capacitor then use the formula v is equal to q by c individually you know q you know c you can find pd across each right so we will proceed first you will see how to find v1 v1 is q1 by c1 that is pd across this q1 10 power minus 8 c1 100 pico 100 100 pico is basically 10 power minus 10 100 pico but that is 100 pico 10 to the power of minus 10 c1 is 10 to the power of minus so this will be 10 square volt so v1 100 volt then better to find v2 in a similar way q2 by c2 q2 10 power minus 8 c2 200 pico so 2 into this so this will be half half into 10 power 2 100 volt so 50 volt so v2 is 50 here here 100 volt then what should be v3 q3 by c3 q3 a 10 power minus 8 c3 200 pico so you will again get 50 50 volt now you can cross check this this capacitor and this series combination in parallel the series combination of these two capacitors and this capacitor they are in parallel so when you add up these two pds you will get 100 because v is equal to v1 plus v2 that 100 means here also it should be 100 volt you see 100 volt 50 volt 50 volt you can use it for cross checking so what is the left out voltage v4 v4 is see for want of space i'm just rubbing off the previous one and writing again okay q4 c4 q4 
q4 2 into 10 power minus 8 c4 is 100 that will be 100 into 10 power minus 12 10 power minus 10 so this will be 2 into 10 to the power of 2 which is 100 so 200 volt so here it is 200 volt so write 200 volt see here it is 200 volt the whole thing is c123 here 100, here 100. They are in parallel. 100 volt and 100 volt in parallel. So the voltage will be same again as 100 volt. So here it will be 100 volt. These two are in series. 200 volt plus 100 volt. This is 100 volt. If it's not clear, I'll write once again. 200 volt and 100 volt in series, so 300. It's always better if you have time in exam, you know, you cross check. Any questions? Is it okay? So what is the idea in any network? You just analyze the circuit, wherever it is obviously series, obviously parallel, you start from that branch or that corner and start drawing simplified circuits. Then last circuit will be very much simple, such as this. Then do calculations in the backward directions, you will be doing, you will be getting all the required values. Maybe then and there you may have to apply your knowledge in some places. But generally, I'm saying approach is this. Okay. Thank you.